Hiya YouTube, how are we all doing? Well, today, Shell Island weekend, and we're off. Yeah, going to Shell Island, got a weekend camping. Me and it's uh, Raimondo, Captain Satnav, of course. So, routes are planned in, throwing the Satnav. Nice little weekend, do a nice little ride around uh, Wales tomorrow. Uh, the sun's shining, it's not too bad, it's a little bit blowy. I'm kind of hoping it's not going to be uh, windy when we get to Shell Island, but it's on the coast, so it's going to be, innit? <laughs> so, yeah, um, we're on our way. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had the uh, bike fully loaded up, so I've got everything everything packed. It's just a case now of um, getting uh, getting to see Raimondo. So uh, I'm going to go and put a bit of fuel in first. Anyway, I shall hand you over to Raymond. Let's see how he's doing. I'm on my way to meet Paul just now. If you watched his last video, you'll know I'm off to Shell Island. It's only two nights, but I haven't been there in decades. So I'm looking forward to this. I have packed rather more than I should have done. Again, they've got a cafe on the island. It does take away food and it'll do a breakfast. Talking to Paul, he wants to cook his own breakfast. So I've turned up with uh, breakfast gear at the very least. And I said I'd do as a curry on Saturday night so I've turned up with spices, chopped onions, chilies, chicken and I also said we're having a barbecue tonight. Got four burgers, pack of eight sausages, four batches, onions to go on top, cheese slices to go on top, batches to put them on. No chips in case anybody's wondering. So I've turned up with probably half of Asda from food shopping, but you know, that's how it is. I don't actually mind cooking when I'm camping as it happens, but it does add a lot of weight. I've got the GoPro 60, 360, sorry, or GoPro Max. It's there, it's on my mirror. So it's as far out as I can take it without actually sticking it on a stick, so to speak. And it's not recorded at the moment, by the way. There's an hour and a half of battery life on it. So I'm going to save it until we get to... Uh, until I meet up with Paul and we set off. I'll, I'll switch it on then. But when I was setting it up in my backyard, it looked okay. Now I'm riding along, it does not look okay. It's stable enough. I'm not bothered about that, but... Eh, I, I could set it up better. So I will when I get to the car park. Well, last time I went camping, I had my two army sleeping bags and I put them in like an outer bag. It was windproof, waterproof, but I, I, I couldn't get it zipped up. It was a nightmare. So I still kept it because I, I still have a use for it, but I bought an army bivy. It has no zips at all just has a flap that opens up but doesn't have a zip to close it down doesn't have a velcro flap to close it close it down nothing so i put the sleeping bags inside that and then i tried getting into them last night i failed i did i failed it was a proper struggle so this morning i've basically sat there with a a dutch hope um, pushing the sleeping bags down and then arranging the top end where I'm going to get in so that the two sleeping bags don't get tangled up. I know I can get in, I've watched a video online of uh, an ex-marine doing it and yeah, it's exactly the same as what mine is, it's, it's a nice big flap at the front and he sits up in it and does all kinds of his sort of getting himself ready to go so I can do it, I just haven't done it before and it was proper awkward. I don't think it was helped by the fact I've got my airbed in there and I'd pumped it up, so there was even less room. But I deflated that and tried again this morning, kind of, you know, 
bit more room to get in, but it is a bit cosy. And I've got my me, um, reflective mat in there as well. So basically, in theory, I should be able to turn up, unroll the bivvy, and my sleeping bag, my airbed, and my reflective mat are all there, all set up, all ready. I just need to inflate the bed. I have a sneaky suspicion I'm going to have to get in the sleeping bag and then inflate the bed. But I'll live. If I do that, I'm not going to roll off the airbed. So I don't need a camp bed, which I've left behind. Okay, so this is the meeting point. Now, I'm not expecting Paul to be here as it happens. He said he'd be here for about three. I don't think it's anywhere near three o'clock yet, so... I think I might have plenty of time. But first, let's go and get that fuel. Hi folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm only a couple of minutes away from uh, meeting Ray now. So the sun's gorgeous. Absolutely, it's been actually quite warm to be fair. It's not roasting, don't get me wrong, you know, but um, it's not raining, let's put it that way. But I tell you what, it's a bit blowy. <laughs> so it's... Um, I think we're going to be, the tent's going to be sails tonight. No, I'm only joking. Still be all right when we get there, I think. We're a couple of hours away from campsite, so hopefully weather's different there. But look at it. The sun is shining. We're on a camping trip and the sun is shining. Happy days. It's going to be a belter, I tell you. Absolute belter. So, yeah, um, I'm literally coming up to our meeting point now. Uh, through these sets of lights and I'm there. Uh, and we're going to head off into Wales for our latest adventure. I guarantee he's going to be—he's going to be there before me. Guarantee I won't be there before him. No way. He's, he's had today off, so he's been pacing up and down, no doubt. <laughs> uh, wondering where the hell I am. No, I didn't finish work until uh, quarter past two, so I literally finished work half an hour ago. And uh, I'm actually 15 minutes early than the agreed time, which is not bad for me. Uh, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> I normally arrive at about 10 minutes to spare, but depends on where we're going and what we're doing. When we did Romania, we were both a good half hour early, and we just decided to head off, you know. So, uh, however, Ray, he was only five, he was only five, ten minutes away. <laughs> I had a good 40 minute ride, like you know. So yeah, let's see if. Uh, See if he's here. No doubt he is. Oh, it's a biker there. There is a bike there. Yes, Raymondo is there. So we can uh, get in here. Let's get past him, eh? He's even behind the fence. So he's even behind that truck, I think. Hello! How the devil are you? Is that the it's last a video? Oh, is it? What are you watching? Is it? <laughs> how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? Did you see that? I've still got the cameras running. Go and shake his hand and he walks off. Go and shake his hand and he walks off. <laughs> oh. that, how are you? Yeah, alright, mate. Good. Pie, I've been waiting. Have you? Well, what, when time did you get here? Uh, about ten past two. I didn't finish work till quarter past. I've not been work today at all. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah, I said that coming up. Anyway, folks, we're here, so I'm going to have a quick chat and then we'll head, on, head off. So, see you in a minute. Are you recording, sir? Oh, yes. <laughs> I tell you what, it, that, that, that was that was literally Darth Vader eyes at them, mate. <laughs> When? <laughs> Just then. Are you looking at you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what are we do heading for campsite, is it? Yep. Watch it. Hang on a second. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's the first time you've done that. What's that, mate? When I've said are you ready, you've said yeah. No, not the first time. I can, I can make... 
Do you know what one I might do? I might actually just physically ignore, uh, annoy you for the whole trip, mate. Well, which is normal. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that anyway. Well, I'm kind of hoping you won't physically annoy me. No. You do without that. I might just say, are you ready? And just say, yeah, just for the sake of it. And then you just see the back of me. I don't want to see the back of you, mate. <laughs> you don't want to see the front of me either. Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to go with you just don't want to see me at all. That'd be, be pleasant. Not seeing you, that is. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Which way are we going, mate? Down, just down the uh, 55, are we? Or we're going to go along Bala Lake. Yeah. I know that bit. Down to Dolgeth. So we go the same way as we did last time, then up through Transwinnard that way. No. Oh, okay. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Yeah. That was straight to the point, Raymond. Yeah. Just no. <laughs> hey, he sounded just like the wife then. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. I think we both have our reasons for that. <laughs> you absolute baboon, and so it begins. <laughs> <laughs> it's the usual story now, isn't it? Yeah. Just sitting in traffic. At least it's not the bank holiday weekend, mate. Oh, a bank holiday would have been awful. Are you still there, Paul? I am, mate. Yeah, I'm right behind yeah. you. I can hear you. I keep getting a bleeping noise. It sounds like it's cutting you off. Oh, right. It's okay. I keep hoping, but it's never working. Oh, I can hear you. No, oh, it's all right, then. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is all your fault, this is. Oh, thanks, mate, yeah. yeah. Is that because it was early? No. It's because you couldn't get the day off. <laughs> well, sorry for breathing. <laughs> um, yeah, actually. Yeah, you should be. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like it's taken up by the old motorcycle stores. It is, yeah. It's a left and then a right. Yeah. Little chicane. Humpty Bumpkin. It's an awkward little blooming junction, this, isn't it? It's tricky, just a little bit, not a lot. Yeah. Especially when you've got someone like him coming up there. Yeah. A bit bigger than me. Have you not got through? Uh, not with that truck, no, mate, no. <laughs> Go on, I'll catch you. I know which way you're going. I thought I'd left you plenty of room. Uh, I know you and you. I've left you plenty of room routine. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going past the old stores now. Aye. Well, folks, we're en route to campsite. There's the old motorcycle stores. Old yep, not far behind. No, no, not that far behind. You can hear. It's a lovely little place, that. You're winking, by the way. <laughs> you had your indicator on as well. <laughs> as long as it's only winking. Ah, I still can't spell. Still what? Still can't spell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it took me the, to edit in the video back to re realise Before what you realised what I'd yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was riding there, riding away. Well, you need to learn to spell Paul. And I got nothing out of you. And I'm yeah. like... What's the matter with him? <laughs> yeah, what's the matter with him? Then I got that text message three weeks later. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know you're in trouble when it starts with, well, Mr. Jones. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. You've not been to this campsite before, have you? I've never been to Shell Island, mate, so... I need a, a traffic light camera on red. Do you? Why is that? I need to scratch my leg. <laughs> do -do -do. Do -do -do. Yeah, we were on this on our uh, same road on the U UK tour, weren't we? We did, yeah. We came this way. We did. That was all right, that, but it wasn't a, a European one, was it? No, not when you're heading from down south up north and you can see signs for home. <laughs> yeah, that's right, just across, just across that hill. Yeah, sort of puts it off a little bit really, doesn't it? 
Yeah, it does. Can't beat being miles and miles and miles away from home when nobody speaks your language. And you don't know what to do if anything goes wrong. Well, we, we weren't in Scotland, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's lovely when the sun's out, mate. Yes, again. <laughs> Do you know what, folks? We've been on tour for what 15, tw well, sorry, ten alive, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. And we found the level. <laughs> found the level, have we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Rosie's Cider Shop. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a reaction, folks. I tell you, it's lovely when the sun's out, Ray, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, you know, it's not bad. <laughs> ah, it's that wasn't the reaction bit, I wanted. <laughs> it, does, it does get a bit cold when the sun goes away, though. It's kind of not quite summer, you know what I mean? Not kind, kind of quite like summertime heat sort of thing. <laughs> now I know he's taking the piss. <laughs> well, give, give it another month, and it'll be like this when it's cloudy, so... There's always that optimistic thought in your head, isn't there? These means were a false sense of security, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of that price for America, then? Yeah, yeah seemed, seemed all right, actually. Yeah. I, I still think it'd be cheaper to take your own bike over, mate. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. If it works out cheaper to take our bikes over, then we might as well. Exactly, yeah. Do a bit more than two weeks. Yeah. But... Not the She's two months we were planning. The thing is, you can do it in three and a half weeks. Yeah. You know, it's, it is possible, but it'd be, you'd never get a day off, which is no good. No, place. you wouldn't. No, it, that's um, enduring it rather than enjoying. Yeah. And I, I would I would rather, if we felt like just do, toodling along, that we could. And if we felt like just saying, well, actually, I like it here, let's stay another night. Yeah. We should. I think realistically the minimum's four and a half weeks, isn't it? Is what? At least four and a half weeks is a minimum. Yeah. Let's get Norway out the way first, because that's going to hurt. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the first one. That's been on, in planning for a long time, but yeah. After that, I mean, I'd like I'd like to get the money to go to America. I'd like I can to do it. I'd, we, I think we should, if we can do it, mate. That's something we need to try and do. Well, we might. I reckon we'll be able to go. I don't think that they'll be stopping us by the time we get to that stage to go. Well, folks, why raise out of uh, out of range for a minute? Um, yeah, um, we're something we're far from balanced, to be honest with you. So we're heading towards the campsite. Looks like we're going to have a lovely evening. Currently 10 to 4 is the time. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice evening. So we've got a cup, got a ride out tomorrow. Yeah, I've loaded it into the sat -nav. I don't know what uh, where we're exactly going. But I know he wants to, Ray wants to go to this viewpoint to try his, uh, his drone out. He's, I think he's got his 360. He's recording that now, so... Well, looks like we've... Uh lost Paul again. Uh, we are about 50 miles away. Well, actually, fun sat now, we are 50 miles away from the campsite. Uh, I think we're coming up to Corwin in uh, a few miles. Due to arrive about quarter past five. The last email I got from them was before all the lockdown rules and everything came to an end, but they said it's a queuing system. Kind of hoping that they'd have scrapped all of that by now. Um, once we're through, it's uh, go find a tent, pitch, and we can pitch on this campsite pretty much anywhere where you can find space to put your tent that you like. You don't number the pictures or anything like that, you just say, there you go, and then you go, hoping, but I can't imagine that it will be possible, you have pictures that are alongside the beach, wouldn't mind one of them. But you've got quite a variety of places for you to go and pitch. You've got some band down by the harbour. So I guess down there you'll be looking at the sea whichever way you look. 
wonder how Paul's going to cope with the editing because I bet he's talking now. There he is. Oh, there you are, Paul. Hi. Nice to hear from you again. Oh, always a pleasure. Never a chore. Well, depends which side of the conversation you're on. <laughs> Logistics on demand. Wonder what that means. Do I answer him, folks? Probably not, because I'm going to get a response I don't want to hear. <laughs> I thought I was talking to myself. You're not that lucky, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not that lucky. <laughs> Nice bit of a garden, that, isn't it? It's pretty, mate, isn't it? With its own circle of standing stones. Aye. Do you mean 4,000 years there'll be archaeologists arguing over that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where have these come from? <laughs> the yeah. fact that the bloke planted them, like, you know. Yeah, what religious festival did they celebrate? Look at all the stone chippings and all the, uh, the bones and everything from animals. It must have been a place where um, people danced naked round on the solstice. Uh, it was. There was a bloke of a JCP who wanted to make his garden look nice. Yeah, that's it. That's right. <laughs> the rocks were brought from Central Africa. My God, think of the trading networks they used to have. I know. And then they find a little note, be a receipt from Wix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What does being Q mean? <laughs> that, that's exactly it. Yeah. Even to me, it doesn't make any sense. No. Do you think it means build and quick? Eh? Build and quick. Build and quick, is that what it stands for, is it? I don't know. I don't no, it actually you, stands you for building. What it stood for. It's building questions, actually, but never mind. How do you know? Uh, I... <laughs> It doesn't, matter what, it answer. Up, it do, it doesn't hey. matter what answer I'm going to give you. You've completely and utterly made that up, haven't you? <laughs> I know, I, I remember reading it somewhere, but... To be well, fair, you, I, I might as well you say... You remember it's, reading it somewhere, but you don't remember where. It doesn't, it doesn't stand for big Qs, does it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think when I get this new bike, I'm going to get lazy, aren't I, with no clutch? <laughs> well, that'll be the thing, won't it? Yeah. You'll never be able to go back to an ordinary bike again. I don't know. I rode that for a couple of hours, got used to it, and jumped back on this, all right. But they're going to sound silly. Uh, yeah, but silly years. a day, innit? <laughs> years. Yeah, years. Give yeah. yourself a decade on it, and I bet you won't know how to use a clutch. No. What makes you think I know how to use one now? <laughs> Well, let's just say, I've never seen you stall because you weren't using it. No, no. I've seen you stall for other reasons. <coughs> like when I like tried to do that U-turn in Romania and uh, Curtia. <laughs> the bloody yeah. tank bag kept on me k kicking me horn off. <laughs> the worst one was um, Wassen, Switzerland, when you knocked me off my bike. Oh, you still, yeah. do you know what, you still blame me for that, it was definitely not me. It was you? No, no, I'm not going yes, into this, it was you. I'm not having this conversation with you. Well, you are, because we started it, so. No, you, st <laughs> I'll, I'll give up. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up and ride your bike, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to figure out which way he's going to take you. Along the shores of Lake Bala. Down okay. to Dolgethley. Oh, you're going straight down that right, okay, got Up past Barmouth. Yeah. For tomorrow, I've got us a stop at Betsy Coed. Betsy Coed, hi. Yeah. A stop at a viewing point where I'll use the drone. Yeah. Then we're coming back through Barmouth if you want to. I haven't scheduled a stop, but we can if you want to. Yeah. Barmouth's a nice little place, actually, if you stop in yeah, the front. It is. Yeah. Get a little bag of chips or something in it, you know, it's quite nice up yeah. there. 
Yeah, I don't have too much. I'm doing you a curry. <laughs> I haven't packed four pound <laughs> curry making equipment just so you can have chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice when the sun's out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that campsite I went to in October. Yeah. It's only down there, off to, off to the, the right there, but I didn't think it was a bad campsite at all. Okay. There's a nice campsite on Bala Lake down here. Is there? Yeah, Langauer, I think it's called. I'll look it up. It's a nice site right on the lake right, okay. shore, you know what I mean? Lovely little place, Baller, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like it here. Yeah. My first camping trip without mum and dad was just across the other side of the lake over there. Was it? Yeah. And true to form, I forgot the tent. <laughs> <laughs> you did, honestly, did you? Yeah, I did, yeah. My dad had to go all the way home and come back with another one. Um, <laughs> Came back with the frame tents because it was the only one he could find. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> you couldn't write that. Couldn't make it up, could you? No, especially when my dad said to me, "Have you packed your tent?" And I said, "Sod off, Dad! How could I forget that?" And he and he did. I, I forgot it. Yeah, my dad just looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> It is. It is a lovely lake, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice, mate, yeah. That looked lovely down there, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Cracking little place for holiday. Yeah. Lovely. Look that, folks. Look at the mountains over there and everything as well. Yeah. Really is good. Um, it would be handy, would it not? If I put the keys in. Well, at least you can't be on a Hungarian motorway screen and it's telling me I haven't got my uh. keys. Are you filming yet, matey, or...? Yeah. Yeah, OK. Hang on. Oh, yeah, right, I believe you. Yes, red. Is it red? Yeah, it's red, mate, yeah. Bloody hell. Is it red? Yeah, it's red. Are you sure? Yeah, because the, right the sun's out, you see. It's a lovely evening, I can't yeah, tell. It's, it's cracking when the sun's out. <laughs> but can you, see, can you see the red? I can see it's red, yeah. <laughs> You'll be seeing red in a minute, mate. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, no. This is the part of the road to remember the most. It's lovely this section, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Lovely. Long sweeping bends. Yeah. Ooh. It's a bit blowy, yeah, isn't that it? Is, that is a bit windy, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. What's your tent like in the wind? Um, well, I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I know what mine's like. Yours is low down, mate. It ain't going to move, is it? Um, it? Oh, it gets thrown around all over the place. Oh, does it? Yeah, it, it never, it's never a problem. I've been in a dome tent before in a gale and it's blown it flat. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, thanks for that, mate. Literally, the tent going across your face. We'd we'll be doing a mick, will I? <laughs> well, I might get up at three o'clock in the morning and pull that peg out. Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, look at that, people like me crossing the road. Nice little place, isn't it? Loads of campsites around here, isn't it? Yeah, there is. It's got to be a nice place to camp. Yeah. It's got the river down there and everything. Yeah, it'd be nice, isn't it? A couple of tents yeah. down there, see? Yeah. Just thinking which way you're going to take us. What are you going about, Paul? I'm just talking to myself, mate. Don't worry, Todd. All right, OK. 
I'm just thinking which way it's going to take us. So. You get any sort of more sense out of yourself when you do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> nice little uh, river there. Yep. It's more river than 15. Bar. It's more than 15 foot, so it's a river. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know what? I am so glad you learn a lot from me. No, I didn't learn that from you, mate. I got it, got it on Google when they were searching for speed cameras. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm Googling speed cameras and it's telling me if it's more than 15 feet wide, it's a river. I can really see that happening. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, the scenery is pretty good here as well, isn't it? It's lovely, mate, isn't it? It really is. Yeah. And it's nice when the sun's out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I haven't seen it myself. I don't usually come out the house in daylight, you know. Well, no, no it's just the, the, the course and junction sort of doesn't let you really, does it? No, no, it doesn't. There's that bridge, Paul. Oh, yeah. Uh, Panam Panama or Panama or something it's called, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah. You've never let me forget that 50p, have you? Oh, you still owe me for that 50p, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about that. Still okay. waiting for that. Do you know, I'm glad we did that, though. It was a bit of an excitement, wasn't it? Yeah, and, uh, that was. That yeah. was unexpected. Even though I planned it on the route. <laughs> yeah. You want to see Halfway House? Yeah. I wonder halfway between what and where. Because effectively you could put a house in anywhere and call it the halfway house, couldn't you? You could, mate, yeah. God, you don't half talk some shit, you would tell you. Well, educational shit. <laughs> it's, a, it's only halfway shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Only halfway there. Yeah. It says we're eight miles away, it's five o'clock. Yeah. And it says it's going to take us 20 minutes to do this. Yeah. See those um, sand hills you can see over there? Yeah. That's where we're going. Oh, right, okay, mice. Can we Not in the sand hills, because I know we can't. They're going to say, can I pitch them. the tent behind the sand hill? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's where we're going. Okay, mate. And it's sunny over there, so it'll be quite nice, really. Well, it's nice when the sun's out, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> We've had dolphins around as well. Oh, right, it's okay. Oh, a little water wheel, look. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's not doing nothing. <laughs> Just looking pretty. Yeah. A bit like me. I don't hear a response. <laughs> What's that? I said it's looking pretty, a bit like me, and I'm not hearing a response. Mm. Still not hearing a response. I just love the way you go fishing for compliments knowing no <laughs> well you're not going to get them. <laughs> Shut up man. <laughs> this is, again is a lovely little village mate isn't it? It's a nice place to stay again isn't it? Yeah. Whoop. Gust of wind there mate. It was a little bit blowy mate wasn't it? Yeah. Well let's safely say this is new to me, not been down here before. Right, we're coming to the estuary now. Right, okay. See directly over there? Yeah. That's Shell Island. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, the causeway is not flooded. <laughs> I was more concerned the fact you'd expect me to ride over the beach, mate. <laughs> oh, no. No. I know a place at the end of this causeway where you can catch crabs, though. I know a couple of places in Burton Edward you can catch it now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've got a mark on a map, haven't you? Yeah. Little gold star for each one. Yeah. Whoa. You got room? Yeah, fine, mate, yeah. You go there. I'm over the line, mate, so it's alright. Yeah, you are. You ready? I am, mate. I found that hard to okay. believe. Just napping off. Made the most of it.
Cheers. Cheers, mate. How do? You alright? Yeah, you alright?